Just like with everything else in life, to be at the top, you need to live and breathe what you're doing, and Apex is no exception to that. No, 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 give me! One more, one more, one guy! Yes! Let's go! Let's go! Second, you need to have good teammates. If you don't have good teammates, it's gonna be quite hard. But has this been the advantage that Alliance need to close out this game? It's been massive from the Pathfinder. He can't finish it off himself, but can his teammate Hakis finish off this game for Alliance? Misses one, connects with a second, but the shield, somehow Alliance win that game. It's a long grind and not everyone can do it. What made me want to bring an Apex Division to Alliance uh, from the beginning was I started playing the game and I got hooked straight away. Uh, the movement, the gunplay, the action, and I thought it would be a great competitor to all the other BRs out there. And I knew instantly that it was going to be the top BR as well. Wives is our support player. He joined us uh, in our first iteration of the roster in uh, April 2019. Back then he was, I would say he was quite shy, he wasn't so confident, but we saw his potential. Today I would call him a cheater, almost, because whenever he plays it feels like he has aimbot. He has by far the best aim in the game, and he's grown massively in his confidence and his communication. We wouldn't be where we are without him and the team. Hakis is our captain and our in-game leader. His role in the team is to lead the others into victory. His success as an in-game leader I think comes a lot from him being in the army a few years back. There I think he learned self-respect, self-growth. He also learned how to control the troops in a battlefield. And I think he brings all of that into our team right now. I think people see Hakis both as a person and in-game as a resentless leader and a great captain overall. In game, in the competitive scene, he's known as the king of kidnaps. And I mean, if you watch his stream, he might come off as hard, but he's just willing to win at all costs. So he's a winner. When I got asked to do a trial, and it felt amazing. It felt like I was finally getting recognition, and that my hard work is starting to pay off. Inside by Alliance eventually helped me go full time gaming instead of studying and gaming. IPN is our uh, flex player on the team. His job is basically to play anything that I tell him to, and I basically force him to play every single character in the game. But on top of that, he's also the bridge or the glue keeping us all together. Since I'm in the front, the voice is in the back, he has a very important role on the team. So when we recruited IPN, the driving factor was that we saw that he could play a lot of characters. He's very quick at adapting, which is definitely a strong suit. IPN as a person is uh, very calm, definitely like a brother, and he's also pretty funny. You can just go look at his Twitter. We all know each other pretty well. I would say we're all pretty close friends, even in-game and outside of the game. So it definitely feels good to have a team that you can uh, bond with and get along with. You can't just team up with anyone. Even if all three players are really good on a team, you also need team synergy now. Those three individual players need to work together. Pontus is our manager for the team. He is also our chef. He is basically the guy that makes our life easy. He can be strict and he can be very loose as well. It's definitely a good match, especially as me as a captain. Then I can focus a lot more on what I want to do and how I can improve the team. It's a great weight off my shoulder. Pontus does a lot the behind the scenes. He deserves a lot more credit. I think the bond in our team is pretty good. Of course, since COVID, IPN hasn't been able to travel to our HQ so often, compared to Wives and Hackers, who only lives one hour away. And me as a manager, I'm always working on this because I believe strongly that team bonding outside of the game is really important for in-game stuff. So I would say I, I have a big part in my role as to bring them together as a team. We've had a few rough patches throughout the year. First of all, if we talk about the winter circuit where we bummed out in one and two, then we had to make a really strong comeback coming in consecutive third places to qualify for the finals. We've also had some health issues on our players where we had to take two big breaks. Every time we take a break, it's a 
period when you have to work hard to come back. So instead of going like this, we have gone pretty much up and down. And we've also been hit majorly in every big season patch. They have nerfed our compositions. At first it was quite annoying, but in the end it's actually been helpful because now we can call ourselves the most adaptive team in Apex. Our expectations now as a team, uh, I would say from the outside, yes, we are very much in contending to win. Internally, of course, we are looking to win and we think that we have what it takes to win. But when I say that, I of course know our journey, but I still believe with the bootcamp that we're holding right now, that when we step up on the 1st of June, we are there to win. Thank you all for supporting us through all the year. Uh, I know we have a very strong core fan base. Keep watching our streams, keep sharing, keep spreading the love, and we are the Alliant family together.